Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Prediction. There was a few surprising results over the previous weekend which we're all going to get down to in this video. And um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company. They sell my merch, link for all merch down in the description below. So go feel free to check it out um, after watching this video. But as I said, there's a lot of talking points, a lot of results I want to talk about. So guys, let's get down to it. Guys, you know what to do. Guys, you know what I do. So subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Lena Zetti versus Wolfram. Um... Ling Hunt losing 2 1 away to South End. Great three points for South End there, uh, I do believe, overall. Um, with the likes of how well Ling Hunt have been doing over the past few weeks. Uh, Wolfram beating Burton Albion 3 2 at home. Um, this game. Could be quite an interesting one. Let's just go over to the form table. Uh, Lincoln, 37 points. Only went out the last five. Losing uh, the last three. Wolfram on a very different, uh, different sort of standard. With four wins at the last five. Just losing that one. Um, this game, I'm going to call it pretty easy. Uh, for one side, and I'm going to go for a 2 now Wolfram win. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Fleetwood. Um, Fleetwood beating Doncaster 2 1 at home. Great three points there for Fleetwood. Uh, no, not that I was expecting nothing less from um, Fleetwood. Wimbledon losing 2 1 away from home to Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley ain't got a game this weekend. I'm guessing they're supposed to be playing Barry. Um, so, you know, talk about winter breaks in the Premier League and every club gets one f uh, a week off because of what's happened to Barry. Um, how very unfortunate that was. I do believe that the EFL could have done more. Um, but let's go over to a form table. You've got Wimbledon in 20th, 28 points. Only got five points out of their last five games. So, you know, that's really disappointing on that side of things. Uh, so very similar stats to Fleetwood. They've got six points out of their last five, drawing three, winning one, losing the other one. This game, I think, is going to be a bit interesting. Maybe even a bit dodgy. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Blackpool versus Southend. Um, Southend beating Lincoln 2-1 at home. Blackpool losing 2-1 away from home to Oxford. Um, Southend has you know, started as their second win out of five games. Um, Southend have only got eight points out of their five games out of their last five anyway. Um, they've got 16 points overall. Um, Blackpool got 34 points and not have won a game in their last five, only picking up the one point. Um, I'm going to go for a South End win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 South End win for that one. My next one is Burton Albion versus Gillingham. Um, Burton Albion losing 3 2 away from home to Wolfram. Not too downhearted there um, if I was a Burton Albion fan, if I'm all honest. Uh, you know, the likes of how well Wolfram have been doing. Um, Gillingham did not play. Yeah, again, I'm guessing that's supposed to be buried the previous week, but obviously you all know what's happened there. So straight on to the form table. Um, Burton Albion. In 11th place, only getting 8 points out of their last 5 games, um, winning 2, losing 1 and drawing the other 2. Currently sitting in 11th with 41 points. Um, I don't think Gin I think Gin and them have got very similar stats. Yeah, they have. Uh, it could be a table changing game. Um, the only difference is that Gillingham have not lost in their last five, but uh, Burton Albion have won one more game in their last five than what Gillingham have. 
So, you know, very much a table changing game. Um, I think it's going to be a draw. And I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Coventry City versus Bolton Wanderers. Um, Bolton Wanderers beating Tramia 2 0 at home. Great three points there for Bolton. Much leader three points there for Bolton as well. Um, Coventry beating Bristol Rovers 2 1 away from home. Big three points for Coventry there. Who knows? Could put them in the playoffs come May. Obviously, still a long way to go. Still a lot more videos to come up. And I'm pretty sure a lot more talking points to come up as well. Um, but let's go over to the form table. That's the first win um, out of Bolton's last five. Uh, they've only picked four points out of their last five. Um, so, you know, bleak on the points perspective. Coventry uh, won three out of the last five. Got a maximum of 11 points. So not quite the maximum for the 15, but, you know, close enough. Um, this could very much put Coventry in the automatic promotion places as well. Uh, all goes on the Wickham game. But, you know, it's going to be an interesting weekend. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a Coventry City win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Coventry City win. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Rochdale. Um, Doncaster beat a uh, loser to Fleetwood 2 1 away from home. Disappointing day there for uh, Doncaster, but I don't think it's that disappointing. That was, you know, it hurt me if I was a Doncaster fan. Rochdale having an absolute great day beating Shrewsbury 1 0 at home. Uh, let's go talk about Doncaster first of all. Um, Doncaster on 41 points. They've only got 7 points out of their last 5 games. That's really disappointing me. The same for Rochdale. So both these teams are going in there looking for you know a bit of form maybe. Because of the confidence, I'm just going to stick up for Watchdale and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Watchdale win. My next one is Peterborough versus Oxford. Um, Oxford beating Blackpool 2 1. At home, Peterborough beating Ittridge 4-1 away from home. Great three points there for Peterborough. Um, very much, uh, you know, again, but, you know, it's a top top of the table clash. Uh, Ittridge currently in fourth, Peterborough on third after that result. Um, Oxford, though, you know, beating Blackpool, fair play to Oxford. Um I'm just going to start off with Oxford. Um, 44 points, currently sitting in 8th. Uh, 5 points out of their last 5 games. So, you know, going on the confidence side of things, I can only call this one way, but I'll get to tell you my prediction in a minute. Um, Peterborough got 12 points out of their last 5 games. I'm going to go for Peterborough win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1. Peterborough win. My next one is Shrewsbury versus MK Dons. Um, MK Dons beating Wickham Wanderers 2 0 at home. Great three points there for MK Dons. Um, a game that I very much put them against the odds, but fair play to MK Dons. As I said, great three points for MK Dons. Shrewsbury losing 1 0 away from home to Rochdale. Yeah, again, let's go over to the form table before I give you my predictions. Um, Shrewsbury have only picked two points up from their last five games, losing the other three. Um, MK Dons have done slightly better, picking up seven points in their last five games. Um, so confidence-wise, how tight it is down there. It's going to be pretty tight game and I'll go for 
a 2-2 two, two scoreline for that one. My next one is Sunderland versus Itchridge. Um, Sunderland loses 2 0 away to Portsmouth. Disappointing day there for Sunderland. Itchridge loses 4 1 away to Peterborough. Um, so, you know, disappointing day for Itchridge. Um, disappointing day for Sunderland. Over to the form table quickly. Uh, this is tight. You've got Sunderland currently sitting outside the playoffs. A win for Sunderland and results go their way. Could put it back in their way. Um, going forward with this game, I'm gonna go for a draw, and I'm gonna go for a very nitty, very tough one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramiel versus Portsmouth. Um, Portsmouth beating Sunderland 2 0 at home. Great three points there for Portsmouth. The Tramia losing 2 0 away to Bolton. Um, this game, I think, is going to be ever so slightly interesting. Over to the form table quickly. Tramia only picking one point up from their last five. Um, Portsmouth doing 13 points at their last five games. So I'm going to go for a Portsmouth win and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Portsmouth win. My last one for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus Bristol City. Um, Wickham Wanderers losing 2 0 away to MK Dons. Bristol Rovers losing 2 1 at home to Coventry. So both of these teams, um, you know, going in with a defeat. Just go over to Bristol Rovers quickly and um, only get two points out of the last five. Um, and Wickham only getting six points out of the last five. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 two, two scoreline for that one. But anyway guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.